Come on. This isn't she, funny. She thinks it's a prank. Chris. Chris ain't Chris anymore. <laughs> oh my god, this is actual nightmare fuel. Now look, listen, listen. I've seen the comments. I've seen the amount of people speaking about this thing. The numbers don't lie when it comes to these series. Vita Carnis is clearly something that's taken the analog horror scene by storm. You know, I went into this thing, no expectations, and my goodness, it blew everything away. If you guys haven't seen my first video covering this, this is your cue. You go back now, you see what this is about. Because for this video here, you might want to buckle up. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to the second video covering the talented Darian Quilloid's Vita Carnis analog horror series. In the last episode, we looked at the Living Meat documentary, and my gosh, it is packed full of so much information about this world that's being built. There are several more videos for us to check out by Darian. Some of them look insane. We got classics such as cook at home meals. And you get curious about owning yourself a treatment? Well, here's a guide for you. And the one I'm most excited for is the Vita Canis Mimic Defense Instructional Tape. We've seen how dangerous they get. Look, I know your guys' time is precious, so we're gonna cut this intro about there. There is much for us to watch. Yeah, and I already know this is you watching watching this video's intro. And the one I'm most God, can he just one get on with the video? Also guys, you wanna see more on this series, by the way, I think you know exactly what to do. This first one we're looking at is called Crawl Penne Cuckoo. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, the crawl is basically the origins of this thing. It grows out in a vein-like structure and it produces all of the different things that then spawn from this. Listen, we're cooking with it today. Let's see what we're dishing up. This mm. could be the greatest discovery of the age. <laughs> Flicking between the two. Whoa. Hey, oh, we got chops. Sing it. Have hold any up. information of the whereabouts of See Hold up, hold up. Nah, nah, nah. They don't show stuff like that for no reason. Look, I'm out here just trying to cook me some coal and we got this dude on my screen. Interprovincial travel, production of sensitive material, wanted by the CSIS, Vincent Barrier. If you have any information concerning this person, please contact your local CSIS office, telephone numbers, and everything is listed. Could this man be the one who basically put out the information on the crawl and all of the things that came from it? Hey, Vince, you good in there? Good stuff, man. Just that small closet there, guys. He's been in there about 60 years. Don't worry about him. We make Whoa, Whoa what was Be that? making a dish that has recently gained a fair amount of popularity. That looks Today's dish will be a Dude. cheesy crawl penne. That needs to be put in the oven. We see how dry that thing is, man. That's drier than a desert. Cook at home kitchen. I hope that wasn't the finished product, man, because I'm adding additional steps and rerunning this, start okay? Off. These will be the ingredients you will To start off, we're going to add them subtitles, man. How about you stop? You will need. Okay, we're going to need some of that crawl. Three cups of penne pasta. All right. Roughly three <gasps> cups worth of fresh crawl. Fresh? We grow to get a variety of sizes when you buy yours. Whoa, or when okay. You harvest them yourself. Dang, okay, One we see that. One cup of cheese. All right, Half all right. a cup of green onion. They, they ready go in. One teaspoon of salt. Kind of making me hungry, I ain't gonna Two lie. Two tablespoons of Cajun spice. Uh-huh. Two tablespoons of parsley. Man, they go in. They went One absolutely in depth with this. One tablespoon of dill. <sighs> One tablespoon of garlic. How many more tablespoons? A of pepper. They... And finally, okay. the most crucial ingredient. Nutrier Company's newly released Flavor Enhancer. Flavor Enhancer to, to bring out the richness. the richness of flavors within each and every She's meal. got me covered. What is this, dude? Hang on a moment. This is weird. First, get a medium-sized pot and fill half of it with water. Hang on, ma'am. If we're just making an innocent dish, why does this man look like he's dressed in a custom-made hazmat suit? Also, you see we've got people now growing this in greenhouses to basically create their own protein source. So, like, I I'm sat here like, where can I buy this? Like, are we talking black market or like, does it taste good? What's the protein content like? We're gonna be seeing gyms grinding this up, making their own custom protein shakes. Anyway, back to hazmat guy. He's got his water. Oh my god, bro, look at the pour action. You know, that is the most annoying thing ever. Like, it's got the spout and everything, but it still pours all down the side of the glass. Like, what's the science behind that? How do we stop that? Add a pitch of salt, which okay. is used to help the pot come to a boil faster and yep. help flavor the pasta. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it, guys. Always then, salt your pasta, set seriously. aside the boil. And that's it. All right, we boil that water up. Grab mm -hmm. your crawl and a sharp knife. Begin to cut the oh. meat into a rough mess. Ew, what's it look like that? Bro, why does your crawl look like... Why is it wrapped in that? What is that material? You got you got some cling film. You need to remove that, buddy. Oh, man. Dude's eating plastic tonight. What is that? Bro. Ooh, look how slimy it is. Why is it bleeding? Uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm going off... Uh... 
bro, this dude, like, I I don't know why my eyes are starting to tear up, but that was, that was hilarious. <laughs> why couldn't you just pay a, a good chef to come in? Why'd you get the three-year-old trying to create an art project on his canvas to cut the meat? <laughs> Crawl is soft on the outside, okay. but the interior has a surprising sturdiness. Maybe, why don't we, why don't we strip the soft part? Is the, is the solid part on the inside, is that good though? Bro. He's not gonna cut the vegetables on then, that same board, gather right? gather the like, meat and set aside. Like, right, where's his butthole? Like, you know, we got ground sludge on the table. You know, I would actually, uh, just mute the audio. You don't want to hear that slime, you know? Cooking's meant to be a beautiful experience. Yes, it comes with the territory, but, um... Let's pretend it doesn't. <gasps> Bro, he's Mince chopping- the green onion into rough segments. What the freak? You're getting- you're getting crow juice all on your green beans, sir. He's blending that up. Man. I've never used the same chopping board for like Take my, this my greens and too. Set aside as well. Okay, great. Next, grab your skillet and preheat with That's a lot of fire. Like, oil. Yo, I didn't know we get them like that. I just got like put mine on the hob. You know, you're getting food poisoning tonight, man. Plastic content and everything else. Take your minced crawl and spread it evenly across mm. the skillet. Ma anyone's out anyone's mouth watering, guys? No? Okay, I was gonna say weird. Get them out of here. Stir occasionally until crisp and brown. Mm. I, I want to know what it tastes like. Maybe I'd be I'd be up for this. I'm, I'm not even lying. Like as your water reaches a boil, uh -huh. add your boiling. penne and stir occasionally. Bro, that, that's some scam level boiling. Where's the Where's the bubbles? The bubbles are from the penne. Little air pockets in there. But this is um, this dish ain't Cook looking until good. Until soft. Uh huh. What? So the, the whole table's just a heat source in this one? At this time, your crawl will be brown and crisp. Mm. Okay, hold on, hold on. Kind of good, kind of good. Add your mince green onion and then the spices. Yeah, yeah, blend that in, blend that in. Okay. Guitarist, I think guitarist is getting kind of bored. You hear him strumming those notes? Mix well. Uh huh. Hey, I feel like I feel like the creator of this series knows his cooking. Once your pasta is finished cooking, strain it. Yeah, yeah, strain it. Get all that juice out of that. What are we doing next, sir? Yep. Lay your cooked penne evenly into your dish. Yep. We see that. We got the Pyrex. In. That is way too much pasta. Then Holy crap. The crawl topping. I'd be in a carb coma after that one. I'm just saying. I, I gotta know. Please, can we get some wording about how crawl tastes? Maybe. No more sliminess? Okay, so the editor realized afterwards we don't include that again. As I crawl, get that good stuff in there. Spread that Sprinkle thing evenly on top. a generous amount of cheese along the still warm mm. crawl for it to melt. Yeah. Yeah, we like that. Bang that thing in the oven. You know, that pasta needs some kind of sauce underneath to soak this good stuff up, you know? As At it goes this point, in the oven. finish preparing the dish with your flavor enhancer, but Bro. allow your dish to cool to a temperature below 60 <laughs> degrees Celsius, or else Wait. the enhancer will not work. Okay, kind of weird. So we don't we don't cook this thing yet. Why did Guitarra start getting aggressive in the back? He was just he was just calm with it and then your enhancer, but allow your dish to Anyway. And now Maybe you may gonna... serve and enjoy. Nah, no, no, that thing needs to be put in the oven. This is what happens when you don't put it in the oven, guys. Then th that, that crawl comes for you. It knows you ain't enjoying it the best possible way. Oh, there's something back there. What is that? What is that? Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. There was a lot in there. Look here. Another- wait, there's another part of the, the story in here. Are you serious right now? There's like even more add-ons here. This one looks like it'll be very hard to read though. Also, I'm seeing this here. What is that? Who- who are these? Does that say- hold up a second. We need to enhance this. We need to enhance. Who are they? I think it's saying that might be the orb-like thing that we saw at the end. And it's theorized, I believe, that that is like the main source of communication. This- ball in the sky that is kind of, you know, always going around. It's got these, like, electromagnetic signals passing between all the different entities in the world. This looks a lot like some kind of uh, detective-typed diagram, though. You know, they're putting the, uh, you know, the old, like, on the cork board, the bits of wire between to pinpoint the evidence together to try and string this whole thing together and understand. You can't even have a cooking show without there being some kind of deep lore in this thing. Knave of Dogs is a legend. He translated this next part for us. Although the other critters ignored the rest of their fellow kind, instead they secretly visited the slumbering visitor. They snuck what little food they had and carefully fed it to the prince, greatly hastening their recovery. So we're learning more about this back story here. It's like a fairy tale about a, a prince, I guess, that was, uh, you know, they were traveling on boat. The prince, the princess, the daughter. I think he got swept off the boat, was greatly injured, had to find somewhere to sleep for a long time. These small entities then found where he was slumbering, and it looks like instead they're trying to help them out, and it's giving them healing properties and benefits, I guess, even for them. In that last video too, people were also theorizing about maybe this 
guy really is in a hazmat type suit, which indicates that the crawl, maybe it's best we don't handle this, you know? And who's publishing these if so? Maybe it's not healthy to consume this. Is it like some kind of propaganda thing where it helps to make the crawl infect people? Then news can report about it being bad and the world destroys it. Because at the moment, people are kind of allowing it to exist. Guys, I don't know. What I do know is that we're watching a next video here. And this one is a guide to owning a pet trimming. I mean, look at this thing, bro. Like, who doesn't want to snuggle this to sleep? You know, it's so cute. People get pets for companionship. Mm -hmm. They form so bonds gentle. and grow relationships with these animals, even to the mm -hmm. point of them being considered a part of the family. Of course. Most people get dogs Always. or cats, Aww. but maybe you want something more interesting. I mean, we got then an amphibian. You may want to get yourself a trimming. These lumps of meat have grown a reputation to be a loving companion for many people in the recent month. I want two. You see the, Although, the smile. Most people may not know the proper ways to care for them. <laughs> Today, we will be showing you how you can care for your pet trimming. Okay. Is that shell hard? Taking is it Taking care of a sludgy? trimming is fairly easy, sludgy. but this is no reason to slack off. Yeah, okay, we get you. They we get are you. living things and mm. do require maintenance. Yeah, we can see they probably the need their shell to scrubbing off. mind when keeping a trimming is the temperature of your home. Must it be cold? While trimmings are resilient to both high and low conditions, All right. you want to keep your base temperature near room temp, maybe slightly that's fine. cooler. All right, no problem. I that mean, they say that's said, good. Trimmings prefer warmer areas to nest. Okay, we see that. A simple nest. setup you may use is a box with some blankets on the inside. Um, maybe make that a bit more make appetizing sure there for is him. enough okay, for your trimming it down. to cover itself. Ooh. Yeah, like and now, Aww, you have a comfy bed for your there. buddy. Why is this kind of cute? Would you own a trimming? Let me know down Next, below. Next, you want to give your trimming the best diet possible. Trimmings are not picky eaters and will eat anything you give them. Okay, eggshell. Look, that's, to this is premium. To keep your healthy and strong, a diet of dry cat or okay. dog food that is high in protein. Okay, we see that. two times a day is best. I thought she was going to end a dry cat. I was like, hang on, what, what do you mean by that, ma'am? Yeah, As feed him up. Feed him up. You may give your trimming any scraps of your food. That's it? Things like apple cores, okay. banana peels, or eggshells are a perfect snack. He loves it. He loves what a about, thing like, to remember other is things, trimmings though. are nocturnal and make plenty of noise. Uh, oh, that's going to drive me nuts. Sound like a baby crying on <laughs> on steroids, bro. Uh, to prevent you from having sleepless nights, change your try sleeping pattern. Give pan. your trimmings first meal in the late morning or afternoon. Okay, what the heck, man? This helps them be active during these times instead. Okay, we got you. We got you. So you can still regulate their sleep cycle, like bring it into what. Humans Another would want. thing to consider if you want a pet trimming is where House they will be living. Get a barbell. Your home should have enough space for your trimming to roam around. We see, okay. As well as access to the outdoors. Oh, like look at him. Punching that grass down. If hey, don't need that, but that's be good. Be sure to take your trimmings on regular walks. Just like a pup. What this the heck? This gives your trimming the Aww. exercise they need. What do they look as like? Well red towels, man. To meet other trimmings. Okay. Trimmings are that. a social creature and need to interact with others of their kind. It's, it's like harmless. Like how they do in the wild. Exactly, exactly. You've got to mimic that. Just give them a nice warm home when in between. When it comes to entertainment, entertainment, trimmings are not the most active <laughs> and aren't the best at God, you fetch get that? or tug of war. Yeah, we can see that. They, but they are, are not interested. But there are other ways to keep your trimming entertained. What, chuck them a dead animal? Some toys that trimmings toys. like are little items they can push around, Basketballs. pull, or carry. Oh, it's kind of sweet. Trimmings also enjoy things that you enjoy as well. Okay, they like video like games? Like watching the television this, or okay. listening to the radio. Genuine sick best friend. They love friend. seeing and listening to all the funny things coming from the devices. What? Uh... Yo, wait, day. wait, wait. There's always lore in these because we already know that the they, they seem to communicate this this thing. It's able to communicate via radio wave signal. So that right there alone, that backs up a lot because we heard about this whole radio thing going on. It's like a specific level of hertz this thing is listening through. Maybe it's not necessarily when it comes to the radio showing interest in that, or at least it is, but it's not because of entertainment purposes. It's actual information it's receiving. After How do we watch this day, thing? Your trimming might be dirty Ew. and need a wash. It's filthy. What's wrong with him? To clean them. Start your bath with a gentle warm water. Got, look at the jacuzzi with a bit of hand or body wash. Okay, we see that, we see that. Gently scrub the trimming's feet, armpits, belly, and neck. Dude's got bowl. armpits? Dude's actually got armpits. Remember to be careful around <laughs> their face. Aww. And avoid getting soap in their eyes, nose, 
and mouth. Yeah, we, I mean, we don't want those humans. Gently pat humans don't want either. With a towel when done. Yep, there he is. Now your buddy is all no, no. clean. He gave him a boop. He booped him. You can boop your trimming. You can boop your trimming, guys. Wait. Be vigilant. And lastly, as said before, Dude, I don't know if we missed something. Social creatures, affection. So be sure to give them plenty of affection. Give it that snuggle. Give it that snuggle. They love receiving pats, scratches, and pets. We see it. It's a perfect they creature. They also love to sit with you and cuddle. Aww. Since they about communicate that? with each other in the wild, uh -huh. it is best to replicate this behavior with them as well. Okay, like we do with animals. Simply talking to them you know? is plenty enough. Okay, okay. It's like, I wonder how cats feel when just there, like, just, How's you going, buddy? How you doing? <laughs> like, the cat is just, like, normal. Like, it just can't speak words. It's like, bro, that's why I'm looking at you all the time when you're doing it. Stop being weird. You know, these guys... You can talk about your day. If anything interesting happened at oh, work, nah, nah, if nah. you are working on any new recipes, you know, that dude's or talk relaying about the it. weather. He's relaying that over the Trimmings signals, right? Very good <laughs> listeners and love to be involved. Okay. I mean, also kind of nice, but maybe it's all just an act to communicate with the mother. With all of these in mind, you are now well equipped to have a trimming become a part of the family. Perfect. Perfect. Do things right, and you will have a companion for Eight a long to twelve while. years. Well, wow, they can live a long time. Uh. This is where it matters. Someone's, someone's writing. Someone was writing something followed up by another excerpt from that story. One day, the prince awoke suddenly. Thanks to the critter's assistance, the healing process had finished very quickly. The prince had fully recovered and now was fully awake and aware of their surroundings. Surprised by the sudden awakening, the critters, what did I say, ducked and hid from the prince's sight. So they didn't want to necessarily be seen by him. Maybe they were worried that they will be judged based on their, I guess, appearance because they don't look like humans. Maybe he's going to be frightened by it. Okay, that kind of makes sense. So there was a bit more information, I guess, deepening the law and our knowledge about the trimming so they can communicate via the radio i think that was the main thing we heard here and there's still that is the main topic not really covered by i guess this this whole situation like what are they exactly communicating i can't help but feel like as a collective you know they're able to communicate across a wide span of basically the entire world something is going to come to head and eventually maybe they might communicate and everyone is going to act at the same time to accomplish something what that is i refuse to imagine it i'm scared now this third video we are going to be watching is one I'm very, very excited to see because this is going to delve more into the horror side of this series in a much more intense way. We are watching Vita Carnis, the Mimic Defense Instructional Tape. And you see that thumbnail alone? Reaching in, breaking down someone's window, ready to get himself some supper. Let's go ahead and see how we survive this situation. Here we go. Now, this is going to deepen our knowledge on the Mimics, I think, to uh, an uncomfortable level. Got to make it an emergency broadcast, get that information out there immediately, you know, once they know how dangerous these things are. As of the time of this video's release, we have been facing a concerning increase of missing persons and fatalities on a global scale. <sighs> the reason for this is because we are under attack. We oh, have fuck. discovered that there has been a significant growth of Mimic populations, mm. which is threatening public safety. <laughs> oh. National leaders have released this instructional recording to teach you on how to defend yourself. The shivers are here. Here's what you need to know God. about the threat. Break it down. Mimics are humanoid, intelligent predators that are highly adaptive and feed solely on human prey. Yeah. They Mimics like gain information like on that. people by watching their daily lives and pick to hunt people when they are most vulnerable. Too smart. The most common times a mimic will attack is when you are asleep. Yeah, that I walking like alone. That or in a cornered position. Never corner yourself, Mimics guys. Mimics are cautious and calculative creatures, taking precautions to ensure a successful hunt. So we hear. They utilize various tactics to capture a person by surprise. And look at that surprise, he's so scared. One of the more well-known tactics is hiding itself inside of furniture. Bro's playing prop hunt with an IQ of 200. How do you survive this? Common objects that oh. mimics can hide inside are sofas, oh. recliners, wardrobes, recliner. ottomans, and other places a mimic can comfortably Yo. wait. Yo. That is terrifying. Imagine just sleeping in your bed, resting up. You're just about to fall asleep. You're like on your phone. You roll over. And you, you know sometimes when you roll over, if you roll over too much, you kind of see a small part down the side of your mattress. You are just met with an eye, wide awake, staring back at you waiting just a few more minutes before you fall asleep. And by that point, it already knows you know it exists, but it's too late for you to move. Can I mimic Mimics the mimic? Mimics are able to contort their body so. in ways that allow them to fit inside smaller places. Literally flat pack it away. They also use it to expand their body, 
making themselves appear larger for intimidation. Nah, that's terrifying. Another method mimics used to blend in is their ability to put on and wear clothing. That's so weird! So mimics weird. put on layers of shirts, pants, and jackets to hide their bright red skin and that's blend into crazy. densely populated areas. That's so crazy! In that's very rare smart. cases, Mimics can develop and grow to look very similar to human beings. I, do you know what I mean? How? Pairing this with clothing, it can be very hard to tell the difference between a mimic and a person right away. Can they talk too? If you are unsure if a person is a mimic, look out for key features that may reveal oh. their true form. Look for abnormal facial features, like large, bulb- Did we miss something? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We check everything here. I'm not missing anything. Whoa. How they change like that. Like large, bulbous wow. eyes, flat noses, wide mouths in an uncanny smile, All right, choo -choo and Charles, tiny skin. Voldemort, also pay anything attention like to other exposed body parts like hands. Mimic people will have long fingers Mimic with no people. fingernails. If you are unable to see their face or hands, uh -huh. watch their walking pattern. Can they not, they don't Mimic's walk. legs are long and hunched. Oh, they got multiple Their joints. Their walking will be unusual and irregular. Okay, we hear you, we hear you. Yep, okay. Well, do you Seriously. know what? If I was a mimic then, I would prey on people who drink at bars because like, when you walk out that bar, no one's gonna suspect you as being the mimic. They're just gonna suspect you of having a good time. Here is what you do if you are met with a mimic. Die. If it stands before you, do not panic. Stand your ground and try to appear larger. Easier said than done in the Wave moment, your hands sure. and make plenty of noise. Good information. Maintain eye contact. A mimic will hesitate to attack a potential threat. If it's aware. If you are armed with a weapon, uh -huh. aim for the head or legs. Now it's instructing us to shoot. These are the attack. best areas to hit to immobilize the threat. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Fight makes back sense. and don't let it get a hold on you. So they say fight back if now. If you find a mimic that hasn't discovered you yet, you stay run. out of sight. Hide, man. Call the authorities and alert them of your location. Yeah. Stay where you are to avoid startling the mimic. If the mimic gives chase, run. Yeah, you Try said it! Try to get somewhere out of sight and hide. Do not leave the area. How Officials will need to locate you to help. They're probably too stay smart, alone, though, stay man. quiet. Head down. Head down. Don't With let it see With the information you have learned, use it well, and stay safe. Alright. But, not every situation is going to be so black and white. you got all those colors in between. Someone pop- they took out the VHS to put in a new one for us to watch? Thank you, mystery, uh... Mystery Entertainer. Thank you for changing the... Tape up? The what are they about to place in? Are they gonna show us something? You know, backing up this threat. That's so... Well, here we go. Evidence tape. Christopher and Janice, case 1983. Observe footage for confidential information. Hold up, we didn't see all that. Discard and destroy all copies of this tape immediately. Uh, immediately. We, we missed the D on that one. Slight spelling error, but that's all good. I'm sure there wasn't a rush to type that thing out. It's just... Oh no, they're gonna do it like this. Got it. Yo, what are you guys doing? Are you purposely trying to get a mimic? Yep, working. Don't tell me these kids are trying to get a mimic. Uh, one sec. Yeah. Listen up, listen up. Uh, okay. Hello. Oh, well, hi there, Denise. Three minutes of tape on that. I know, but I just gotta see how it works. Yeah, and show our identities, like, you know. Yeah, well, I never got to use one. Okay, what are they doing? <laughs> Too bad. Walking around. You're the only person who can film with me, so you're gonna have to. We're gonna see the entire Bye. encounter process, right? <laughs> Screw you. Screw you. Well, they're going in on each other. Why are they doing that? It's still way too dark. One sec. Get that flashlight on. There you go. There we go. No, no night vision. Oh. Wow, blind them. Why don't you? <laughs> and no one needs to see their face. All right. What are you guys doing though? On the night time, yeah. you're just going on a walk, I guess. Oh, there we go. We got, we got some light now. Yeah, just a bit. Doesn't do much, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, look at that over there. You can't see anything unless I, like, point yeah. directly over there. You can barely still see it. Nope, can't see nothing. Great, thanks for scaring me already. So we're not gonna see the Thank danger potentially in front of us. Plate. Fine. I'll no, it's not. Stuff when we get home. It's not about that. Don't worry. I'm hungry. Oh, it is about that. Okay, I get it. You just said too bad? <gasps> said too bad to know food? I don't like him already. I hope that maybe he's a mimic, to be honest, to say that. To not like food? What does that even mean? Is there any information where they're headed? Like, are they just simply going on a stroll, filming with the camera? First ever vlog footage? Lots of walking. What is that? 
That won't be crawl, would it? Nah, that's just grass. I'm, I'm trying to find everything now. Um, met by eerie silence. Not really knowing what uh, what this couple was trying to achieve. Like they knew they knew they were doing something. This this dude did, did filming. What happened? Right, but it still turns off and on randomly for some reason. Well, so that camera's I got that the battery. Best thing I can get my hands on though. Okay. Turning on and off, but it's the only thing that they would give me. Who's they? It works, so I just gotta watch. This is gnarly. It's not my fault this guy lives in a dump. Why would you oh, go there? there. We just gotta like... get through the woods. Okay, they're going through the woods. What are they trying to find? They're trying to locate. Yeah, now this gives more depth. Hopefully I show up on camera as well. This is the worst um, idea I could ever there imagine. There. Going through the woods. Why don't you do it in the daytime? There, right? Can't know. be that bad. You better be armed, seriously, because this is not going to go well if you ain't but, armed. So I mean, cows will be. There was just one guy. I, I don't know why. Like, why would they get rid of every- What- what is happening? Dogs barking are never a good sign. No. Okay. Bunny's turning well, everything into a game. nice. Yeah, there you go. They can't capture it. No, you really can't. So, what are we doing out here? Exactly? 1980s jump cut style. Well- Supposedly, they found some guy. Okay. Like it was like, it was like a grody scene. Like it was grody. disgusting. The freak. Hold up. Grody. That's it. Very unpleasant and disgusting. I like that word. Grody. 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 Next time your parents fart. Say that's very grody. I bet they will be shocked and probably give you lots of applause because it's a big word. So like they, like they had to get rid of the trailer he was in, and then okay. like they didn't let anyone nearby, and it was like this big conspiracy. Mm. So I think there's that. truth to it. Like I would bring well, the camera too. Get a good mark for it. It's a school project. Oh my gosh, they already won that A plus, there right? We go. We're getting close. They're already going for it. How far do you walk in the dark? Just the concept of being in the woods in the dark scares me. Even if it's completely innocent, it's just scary. Like, the further you go away, you don't see any light. Disorientation kicks in, especially in the dark. And if that flashlight cuts out, you ain't gonna see nothing at all. The lands look, oh, you gotta be careful. You remember the other thing? Like, under the grass, you can get those, um, those things that can stab you in the feet. Careful. Be very careful. You don't want to meet that one. That's like the most dangerous, and they're always in forest areas. Be careful, it might be all over the trailer. Maybe that's where they got rid of the trailer. I know where we're going. Yeah, we're almost there, we're on the road. We're right next to So they went to through it. the woods, back on the road. Like, it's literally up there. Do you know okay. that? You just- He's lying, guys. Come on. Rose and Mimic. It's not too late yet. No, he can't be. I'm hungry. Shit, feed them, already. feed them, come on. Yeah, I'm still hungry. Yeah, it's not gonna go away. Get some of that food in. Come on, man. Priorities. Almost there. Do I? Tr I don't know if I trust him anymore. It'll be like five minutes. Five minutes, okay? We're trust on the road. Him. Okay. We're almost there. We just got past the tree line and make the way to the trailer park. Just get there then. Jump then cut. We can go home. Okay. Please. I don't want to be out here either. It's weird. Oh yeah, like, he does. You already know he does. He's the, that's why you're doing right it in the here. night. No, Let's go ahead. Where's that trailer? Where's that trailer, bud? I don't... Look, look he's making that other person lead the way. Uh, just up here. I don't... I, it's... There should be a path. Should be, he says. Right there, yeah. Right here. Oh, so he knows... I ain't gonna lie, bud. I ain't seen it. You guys found the path. Oh, We're okay. good. Why does that make you all good? What about this makes it all of a sudden a good situation? She ain't gonna remind him that she's hungry again? Because I certainly would. I'd be hungry, and I'd make sure he knows that. Okay, why is he scanning so, like, diligently? I don't know if that's the right word. Look, guys, I'm trying big words. Give me a break. I'm trying to get used to him. He's really being vigilant, trying to, uh, catch something. Maybe out the corner of eye, he's seeing one of those mimics slowly follow them in. I mean, this is prime good situation for the mimic. They're, they're straight hook, line, and sinker. This is how a mimic deals with people. It's the best way to do it. This way. He's found it, finally. I think this way. This has been like eight minutes of not knowing what's going on. Yo, look at this. I didn't see this on my way over here last time. Oh, whoa. What is that? Car went off cool. the road? Like, we, we could get a shot of this in like atmosphere, you know? 
All right, he's still eating. Yep, like cinematography is getting that. Yep. Interesting. Well, oh, that's out there. So, could be owned by the. Uh, yeah, that's cool. It's pretty sick. Hey, look, there's like old stuff here as well. Is that golf club? I thought it was a golf club, man. So that's yeah. the that's a sign of uh, some kind of vehicle owned by someone, definitely destroyed by time and wilderness. We sped the process up for that, so that's gone. We're on the flat part now. Okay. I'm getting a whole tour here. Yeah, we're close. Yeah. yeah. Taylor should be right up ahead. I think she's just walked the other way, bud. I think she's given up waiting. She didn't want to wait no more, and I don't blame her. This whole walk has been uh, bullcrap, and she's told you like 18 times that she's hungry. You know, I'll be doing the same thing. If I don't get my snacks, I ain't doing no trekking for a place. This is that where everyone was. I didn't even see. There's no one here now, though. Not a single building in sight. Okay. Except like way over there. So they destroyed but it. Why would they destroy there's it? No one here. It's the strangest thing. Hmm. This is the spot. So he's right finally... Here. Yeah. This thing. What? Okay, what do you mean this thing? Okay. So you, you take the camera and the light. Uh, point it at me, but don't point it in my eyes, please. Okay, yeah, we got that. Don't want to be blinded. Makes sense. We get you. Here he is. So let's, uh, let's hear it then, fella. Let's hear the documentary. Like a barf bag. That's shredding into here. So this is... He wants to do his pitch, I guess, the documentary type thing. At the top right, here. Okay, it's rolling. Whenever you're ready. Making sure he gets his lines right. Respectable. May as well get it right. Instead of screwing the delivery up like 50 times. Okay. They really do a job. You're 19. Teenage boy coming home from the trailer late night. Although, when he arrived at home, he found a grizzly scene. Keep going. So, a teenage he boy came home. His father, that he came home to, was found dead. The grisly scene lies before him. Police were called, and they came to investigate. Uh-huh. Strange thing, though, they immediately closed off everything. I mean, that ain't so strange, like someone's dead. Like, why wouldn't they close it off? Keep talking, keep talking. No they did a bad job here, censoring this. But only a few witnesses saw what truly happened there. For some Didn't reason, the police were acting very weird, and trying to keep everyone away and telling little information. Okay. And when the information was released to the public, they say it was a suicide. Although, huh? the trailer and most people living nearby moved away pretty much immediately. Okay, we see. We say it was a suicide, but the witnesses that did catch an eye of what happened say the scene was much too grisly to be that. Right. It's like something attacked but him. But police haven't come out about anything yet. Like a mimic so that's attacked why him. why I'm here to answer what truly happened. Okay, here we go. We got detectives confidential on here. You said grizzly way too much. <laughs> Come on! You said grizzly way too much. Too much? Shredded. Yeah. You want to redo it okay, or you're hungry? Uh, sure. We get, are we going to see the whole retake? Good. Yeah. Alright. Good. Good delivery. Wait, why is it rolling? What do you mean? Get to that. Oh, 30 minutes to film. Wow. I needed someone to film. Okay. He's not, he's mad, man. Go okay. thing okay. jacked up. So it's definitely a mimic that attacked. I believe it sounds like it. And now he's realizing. You trying to scare him? Come out! Scare enough as is. Script that man. I'd be running too. That's terrifying. Chris. Chris. Wait, what? Chris. Where are you? Chris. Come on. This isn't she, funny! She thinks it's a prank! Chris! Chris ain't Chris go anymore! Home. Come on! Fine. We guess I'm going home without you. I think I'm smart. tired and hungry. And run! If you want to stay out here and play games, you can. This is the smartest thing to actually be done in this situation. To actually have that stubborn attitude. But we already know where Chris is, right? Chris is in the belly, I think, of a mimic. Definitely in his fingertips. Part of him, anyway. She's a nourish show. You wouldn't know any different. Maybe it's the same thing that took out the trailer, the father. You know? Why did the police try and cover it up so much? Maybe it was before they knew what this Vita Carnes thing was. Uh, I mean, they said, like, we saw there was a, um, a picture of that dude. Right? We don't know if he was, uh, leaking this stuff. And before, the Vita Carnes was only known amongst confidential top, like, governmental figures. And maybe police forces so that they knew to try and suppress this information for the public. 
I don't know. Bags up also the, the whole cooking thing, even though that dude was in a hazmat suit. Obviously, the, the crawl isn't safe to be using and touching with your hands. I want to know so much more about this world. Like, I want to know even more about what each of those things, the events that have occurred and what people have seen with them. How have they communicated? What has happened after? Stuff like that. Chris? What are you doing? Do you see this, him? This isn't funny. Oh! Oh. Bro, an actual oh. mimic! Oh. Yeah, you run for your life! Ooh. It's just feasting on Chris! And screaming, it don't sound like it's trying to, I guess, chase her down. We saw the girl, she's, I guess, doing par, but she's running. She isn't maintaining eye contact, and she's not making lots of noise or appearing to be like, you know. Oh, there you go, there you go. Now she's doing it, that's good. Bro, I, you know, I bet people on the outside not knowing what's happening. They're like hearing someone cry out. They're like, come on, sir. come on, let's go. Pulling out the gun straight up like, no, I'm just, I'm filming a school project. Calm it down, look, we're good. I am glad she kept running though. Maybe it's time to hide. I don't know, maybe it's time to just, Give up. Oh, she's running. She's still going. Come on, ma'am, you got it. Just hide out. Okay, all right, all right. She, oh, she made it home. Oh. Lock that door. Oh. It followed her all the way home. Any secrets? Like, you hear the dude popping out the tape. It's like someone's recording this on the go to uh, release this. <sighs> Is there nothing more? You already know, I want to know that poem. The critters led the prince out of the cave, up to the top of the hill. The prince had laid, buried under, and showed them the forest. This is our home, full of wonder and beauty. Although the forest struggles to provide for all its critters, and we are facing disaster. Can you help us? So this is, I guess, the critters uh, discussing now with the prince afterwards, showing them their small dilemma. They can't survive in the wilderness, and they need a helping hand. Yeah, I think what made that episode so terrifying was the fact of knowing how mimics can actually hide away. Obviously, it have been stalking those two people walking out further and further into the darkness to a point where they couldn't remain safe. And even when they made it home, the mimic knew that and it followed them all the way back and continued the hunt until it got its prey. So it's no wonder they had to start putting out these alerts to the public about how dangerous mimics were becoming. They were starting to really hunt people down even in their own homes. Anything at nighttime or even maybe in the daytime, you just couldn't exist to go outside. They were too dangerous. That gave a realistic look into the world of this. Even though it was a very slow burner, it showed two people going out to film an innocent situation and then the mimic found them down. So that whole news article that the police tried to shun away, say it was something totally different. Clearly, that mimic had been residing along or around that area. The police, the construction people probably destroyed it to show people there is no reason to come up here. Stay away, there's no need. Deep down though, they knew within that sort of vicinity and that radius, that mimic was going to continually hunt on the prowl just for any victims. And unfortunately, these two on that fateful night, they became that mimic's next supper. We have one more here, guys. This is called the Species Anomaly Report. I, I wasn't going to watch these two, but I want to wrap this whole video up and watch all of the rest of Vita to make this one a full episode. There's no captions for this, by the way, so I haven't misclicked them. This is just what we get. Hopefully the video itself will have the subtitles that are in fact missing. But who actually knows? Carnist species log 014. Abnormal abnormality documentation. Wait, what? I can't speak. I'm going back. Abnormality documentation harvester. I love getting things first try, you know. Notable population density shift discovered between the dates of 1989 and 1989. So about two months. Maps display of charted population of harvesters location on a monthly basis. Are the harvesters the creature that live out in the, the sort of forest? They produce the spores. Is that correct? Oh my gosh. That... What? Why were they spreading so rapidly like that? Hey bro, I think I think your wife might be an imposter. The family out in the forest going for a stroll. Sounds nice. Children laughing, having a good old time. Just a... What did they find?
What did they find? August. We still haven't seen October the first. Oh, the September. Okay, two children. One's going in the forest. The red one. Ah. Oh. What is that? It's moving more and more on the screen. It could be the crawl. I say could be. It could be something completely different. What is this? This is eerie as heck. Like a fast jump cut situation. That unfolded. It's trying to make sense of what we're hearing. So far, wa more walking in the forest. That said September. It's like a heartbeat in the back. Oh, it got one of the kids in the forest. Oh, this is a This is horrible. Oh my god, this is actual nightmare fuel. What is that? Oh my god, this is actually terrifying. Wait, it's moving? Whoa, what is happening? Yo, I am feeling so uncomfortable. This thing is messing me up. This thing is straight up messing me up. Look at this. I hate how my eyes just get too into the situation. It's like even more than my brain. I am terrified of watching these. They are so scary. I'm sorry for pausing, guys. I, I was actually getting like overwhelmed with like a sense of fear. I always get this. I hate how into these I get sometimes. How's that October looking? Wait, it's shifting. It's like it's moving in. Why? It's like... Is it gonna converge together like this? <laughs> wow, this is... <laughs> this is horrific! <laughs> Genuinely very uncomfortable. There's two down! This is horrible. This is so horrible. Yo, I feel so uncomfortable. That is hands down the most creepy one so far. I don't know what it was about that execution of the uh, the style that content went down, but my God, I felt the pressure sort of building throughout the entirety of that. Okay, the next one here, this is very difficult to read. The prince stood back, spread his arms, and before him glue a bright light. Mystical shapes and colors, lights and figures. The critters watched with wide eyes such sublime brilliance. The prince completed his display. He vowed with the power he held and the help of his kingdom, he shall heal their home. So the harvesters are these beings right here. These are arguably one of the most terrifying. The people they were playing out in the forest, we saw what happened. And these things, they basically, they just deploy their tendrils deep underground and snag whatever walks over. Obviously that child was one of them. So the harvesters are shifting over what appears to be the entire country. It's almost like they're doing a sweep, you know? When that's done, will they sweep back? Is that how they're gonna operate? Kind of washing over the entirety of the lands, leaving none of the ground untraced? Like they're just gonna make sure every part is checked for living beings. All right, and this all wraps up to one one final one here called Vita Carnis, the Flavor Enhancer. What the freak is in that? Flavor. The most crucial component to enjoying a good meal. Facts. The way food tastes is what makes eating so pleasurable. Facts. It does feel good to eat some good food, but you know, like... you could savor every little detail you could possibly want? Hmm. Keep talking. That is why we at Nutrier Co. have made it so that you may enjoy every single bite you take. What's on that plate back there? What is that? With the our product, is... the Flavor Enhancer, you can extract every last morsel of taste from your plate. Wow. With overwhelming demand for this essential product, even since our start earlier this year, we okay. have delivered what you wanted. Ooh. Now introducing the Flavor Enhancer Deluxe. Whoa, now, hang on a minute, like, what year do these guys come from? We're in 1990, why are they talking like it's a 1950s commercial? Larger size and modified recipe, 
there is now even more savory goodness to go around. I think there's like a flashback. Since our debut in mid-1990, the flavor enhancer has shown to be a major hit with our product flying off the shelf. Oh, I bet. Mm. Imagine the putting flavor that some enhancer chocolate, bro. Mm. will allow us to satisfy your growing, tasting needs. Mm. Now allowing you to add even more enhancer to your dinner. Oh, you're messy with that one. Food even better to enjoy. Okay, what, uh, hang on, what the are you cooking right now? What was that? The Flavor Enhancer Deluxe, available on shelves now. 60 degrees for optimal flavor. What, why New though? Dryer Co. Experience true savor. Why does this give me shivers? It's a sound, man. My head was about to pop! sizes make dining even more pleasant, Ooh. now allowing more generous amounts of enhancer at a time. Why do you sound a bit more Flavor dismal? Flavor Enhancer Deluxe. What? Now available in stores near you. It sounds like kind of depressed, like, Nick you know. Co. Experience truth. Save. D is he being forced to say this? He knows he's not telling the truth? What is going on? Make your taste buds pop with the new deluxe size. Make tasting even more awesome. All right, yeah. Awesome. Spoil your kids with this essential part of the every freak meal. you cooking? What is that? New trier. Deep fried crawl. I think was on that plate, guys. Piece of bread. Flavor enhancer deluxe. Just can't the you enjoy bread? For all meals, no matter how small it seems. Yeah, you become just dependent. A it is crucial to Ugh. everyday eating. Yeah, this is the problem. When is enough enough? Like, it becomes this vicious cycle. You need the flavor enhancer for joy eating. What? Are you guys trying to make me want this? Or are you trying to manipulate my brain? The desperation for it. Ugh. Wait, what is that in the bag? What is going on? Is this played on my TV? I'm changing the channel, bro. Yeah, I'm turning that thing off. Where's my story? Give me my story right now. Yes! Thank you. The prince gathered what he could and then set sail onward. Once the prince returns home, they will come back to the island and return to the critters. Okay, we see that. So the island is still inhabited. He's separate. But what's gonna happen next in the story? I feel like we're only just at the beginning of this ongoing story. There is so much more to this that can be revealed. I wonder what's in the flavor enhancer then to um, also make it a part of this world. Are they using something from the crawl in order to make that? It's like, I don't know. I don't know. If Would you really want Want that though? That sounds kind of crazy to say. It's like we already know that salt is like a flavor enhancer. You add salt usually to like a meal, it makes it taste good. But I always, even knowing that, I still limit my salt intake. I don't want to go crazy with that. And like, you know, we know what too much salt can do to the body. So I, yeah, I can see this becoming too much of a lifestyle trait. It's like you crave it so much, it becomes addictive. We all know how bad addictions can get. You know what else I've learned? I've learned that, thank goodness, this world is not canon. All right, guys, that was another look, though, at Darian Quillard's... Oh, wait, hold up. I missed one. Uh, okay, we got more. I'm giving you guys big amounts of content. I want you guys to feel like you are seeing everything with me. This is about the meat snake. Why are you filming me whilst I'm naked? <laughs> Hang on, seriously, though, because the meat snake is a uh, kind of terrifying thing. We read about how humans were using that to eat, like, bodies and stuff in war? Discard this tape immediately, look. They don't want this information being out. It's like, as they were going, like, the um, the people above, they were learning more and more about these, uh, these beings. And they realized this information couldn't get out there. In the there. year of 1945, with the war finally ended, the cleanup process had started. Are we gonna learn about that? During routine sweep of oh. an underground train tunnel, the cleanup crew made a grotesque discovery. It's about what we saw before. Found completely filling the tunnel was a meaty wall and in the center of the mass was an opening with several skulls surrounding it. Uh, Closer the inspection of, it. of the blockage revealed that the mass was actually an extremely engorged meat snake. Uh, that is its impeccable size bro. had blocked off the entirety of the tunnel's path. Gosh. There was many strange things with this creature. Okay, yeah, you don't say. First was the coloration. A typical meat snake's color is bright reds and light browns. Yeah, what did it do? This particular meat snake was a very deep maroon. Bro, what color's maroon? I can't remember. Ah, uh, okay, kind of similar maroon. thing, but a bit more saturated. Another strange thing about it was its behavior. Do tell? This creature barely moved. 
Meat snakes are normally sluggish and encumbersome, but uh -huh. the specimen discovered seemed to lack even basic motor functions. Well, humans just going down there with bodies feeding it? Its behavior was it? that of a plant's. Stationary, plant. with only minor movements within. What? One would assume it was dead. It was just conserving all The reason all the meat snake okay. may act this way may be because it was completely lodged in place oh, and minimized movements big. to conserve energy. Yeah, but imagine the amount of calories just to deep move. into the tunnel in the first place. Exactly. And by the looks of weathering, it had been in there for quite some time. Neglected. So how did it get so large? The answer was discovered by a different cleaning crew who found the other end of the tunnel. They followed it until it met with the other end of the meat snake. Yeah, ready, Alongside guys. Alongside it was a huge pile of cor corpses. This meat snake's corpses. skin also displayed great amounts of resilience. It took several days of cutting to even obtain a sample. Oh my gosh. Here, you can see the clear difference between this meat snake Whoa. specimen versus a normal meat snake's membrane. Dense as freak. Testing on the sample showed that it had great immunity to damage. Wow, strong. It tolerated extreme freezing temperatures, extreme heat temperatures, and even high doses of radiation. All right, we it hear it. It is a then. wonder how such durability can occur in an organic creature. We feel. What is that evolution? Another like a strange phenomenon scale? is the smell off the skin. Did it smell bad? Normally, it would have a sour smell of rotting flesh. Ugh. But the specimen displayed a rather pleasant smell, like that of cooking scrambled eggs. Hey, hold up! Meat well, snake give me some was of that. later discovered to be missing by unknown survivors. How the meat snake grew Yo. in size was discovered to be. Are they gonna cut the rest of the tape out? Hold up, what was that? We got more there. So we can see he's some kind of, maybe a general? You can see, look, 30.4 meters, end of tail, camp one head. I don't know what all of this is. What about that story at the end? What about it? Because we always get it. Yeah, we always get it. So this one is before. So my, my apologies for skipping one here. One of the critters built up the courage to meet the now awake stranger. They crawled to the prince's side and extended their hand in friendship. The prince reached back and together they had formed the bond that would change their fate. Okay, so it was what bonded them together. So maybe the prince will come back after he sails out and uh, help these guys out. But maybe they won't have the same idea. Maybe it'll be a bit more sadistic. All right, though, guys, there we have it. That's the entirety of the Vita Kanish story up to this point. This is so in-depth. And I, I love all the creations here. That last one is very, very eerie and disturbing for its own separate reasons. What this tells me is that during the war, like, they would feed the corpses of people to this meat state. Because they are mostly kind of passive, but it seems like, um, you know, it was appropriate timing for the year. And after it all wrapped up and all that horrible disaster had gone down with humanity. But then just to see what had been going on during all that time, like... It just makes it all the more worse. They were using it as a means to discard bodies. It's so dark when you think about that. Again, though humans don't surprise me, they would do something like that. Darian, this is a brilliant series. I will be coming back definitely when there is more content that we can cover for this thing. And this is going to be ongoing. And yeah, I can't afford to miss any of the information here. If you guys want to follow Darian, which I would highly advise you do, definitely check down below and definitely give him a subscribe. Like this dude puts so much effort into his videos and deserves so much more than he already has. For this one, though, guys, this is going to be everything. Hopefully you did enjoy this jam-packed video. Video looking more at the world of Vita Canis, and I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like crate? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy, and I fear what Darren's about to show us next with this series.